Cinnamon Cooney, your art sherp, and today I want to show you how to paint this amazingly simple yet delightful snowman at dawn. This guy is perfect for first time painters or if you're just needing a little art relax to get over all of this holiday stress. So once you grab your paint, grab your brushes, and come back and meet me at the easel right now. We're just going to get started. All right. Today our materials are an 8x10 canvas board. This is pre-gessoed and ready to paint so you don't have to do another thing to it. I have acrylic paint, heavy bodied. You can use what you have, I'm just letting you know what I have. I have quinacridone magenta, I have cad yellow hue, ultramarine blue, Mars black. I also have a cad red, but any bright Christmassy red you like, and this is optional, this is just for your scarf, titanium white. I'm gonna take a number 10 bright here I'm going to get it just slightly wet and then I'm gonna drag off the extra water and I'm gonna start putting in this dramatic, hopeful dawn sky. So I'm gonna pull this out just on the tip of whatever brush I'm painting with. I don't want it all the way up into the metal and I don't wanna get right into that paint. I'm going to pull out a little white to lighten my yellow and I'm gonna come right here and I'm going to just start painting in the dawn. This is a great dawn. It's going to feel so cheerful and so optimistic and really bring that holiday cheer and a little warmth to your winter. I'm going to take a little of my cad yellow over to my quinacridone magenta and I'm going to make sure that the tip of my bristles are just a small a bit wet. And while the paint here is still not dry, I'm going to blend these two colors together. I'm kind of working a little bit with a curve. This is a bit of a fish eye effect. Like if you've ever heard of a fish eye lens, this is a little bit like that. And it can make your world seem a little bit bigger and more dramatic. I'm gonna dip my brush in the water again, drag off the extra, pull out a lot more of my quinacridone, come over into my white. There we go, just enough. I don't want it to be very, very wet because that can make my paint very unmanageable and get this bright pink. So now this is, this is quite fun, isn't it? Very cheerful. The fish eye is looking really good. The curve of the world, as they say. Rinse out your brush a little bit. You can make sure you have it all out on your towel. Take a little of your quinacridone over to your ultramarine. Add some white and go ahead and blend this slight purple here. Just super cheerful. Super fun. Make sure this is all nice and curved in your world. Now I'm gonna just keep loading my brush with the ultramarine. There's a little white on my brush, so that helps soften it. Makes it feel more like dawn and night. a little of this out, a little white to it. Just keep going on this very easy, super fun, optimistic sky. Move that on my canvas board a minute. Not even gonna worry about it at all. Easy project for every age and level. Once I'm really happy with my sky, and I might put a little of my blue down, almost like it's coming down. I'm gonna get my brush, just rinsed off, come back, do an interesting thing. I'm gonna pull out a little of my quinacridone magenta and my white. I'm going to come right here. 
I'm going to paint that in. Oh, that's too much water. If you get too much on, just wipe it off. I'm going to keep that curve going. And I'm going to paint this pink base so that this is going to show through my snow just a little bit like it's reflecting on the beautiful frozen crystals. I hope you've seen a morning like this at some point in your life. I'm taking a little of my blue, just adding white to it. And I'm going to come right here and just make sure that this is finished in this nice blue with white. I'm going to blend these two out. Just going, covering up that white canvas. I'm going to go back and forth like that. It's like a scramble. Got that. Keep going back and forth. It's so easy. Once I have this in, I get to get my stencil brush. This is a wonderful brush. This is a nice stenciler. This is a number six. The bristles are cut flat. These are not... Uh, fast bake. These are slow bake. So they're not very breakable and they won't really shed on my canvas. You can find stencil brushes all over the place. I will include links below about this brush. They're not particularly expensive so you can get them very easily. I'm going to load my brush with the white. You can see just on the edges and I'm going to come here along my horizon line and I'm going to Make little swirling patterns with my white. You see the little swirling patterns? Super little swirling patterns. Isn't that cheerful? I'm going to put out a little more white paint. Now, the paint underneath isn't really quite dry yet, so it's picking up into my stencil brush. To keep it from getting too uniform, I'm going to wipe this off every once in a while on my towel and reload with fresh white paint. I'm going to come here and make soft little circular motions again. Reload. Soft little circular motions. I'm going to follow the curve of the world. Like they say, keep reloading. Go ahead and just dust your world with snow. If you need to wipe off your brush. Doesn't that feel like Dawn just landing on a little puff of snow? It's such a fun project. I got quite strong with the white there. And that makes it feel like it's, it's closer to me, doesn't it? Around and around. Find those two. Let's get some more white on our little stencil brush. These are just little circles. happy little circles. Anybody can do this. Anybody can paint. This is a good place to get started. Find you have a lifelong joy of being creative. All right. Won't your friends be surprised at what you can do? So once our little snow bank is in, you can go and find a little place. Maybe you want to add a little brightness to the snow with a little circle. Maybe another little one. Once you're happy, make sure you wipe off your brush, rinse out the paint, because you want it to be nice for your next project. And for this point, we're going to want to dry our painting so that the paint that's underneath doesn't bleed into our snowman, because we want him to be very bright, like he's made from fresh crunched snow. I'm going to put out a little more white. Because, of course, my snowman will have a lot of white in him. But he won't be just white. He will be other things, too. And I'm going to get some fresh water. It's always good when you're doing bright paintings to get fresh water often. And I'm going to use a number eight bright. It's slightly smaller than my ten. It's going to give me a little control. I'm going to start out with just a little of my ultramarine. Kind of tipped on my brush. And I'm going to load it with the white. It's going to give me a nice off-white, and I'm going to do my first circle. That's my snowman. This is his little snowman bottom. His snowman bum bum. Snowmen come 
just like people are in lots of sizes and snowman body types. So just remember that your snowman might be taller and skinnier than mine and he might be rounder and squishier. But that doesn't make him any less wonderful of a snowman. Once you have a nice little painterly round ball and his, his little snow is just slightly blue, isn't it? We're gonna come back and add another layer of white to that to give it dimension. This is what we want right now. Okay, let's make a smaller circle right above here. Just smaller than the one we have below. That's not too bad. I'm gonna come paint this one. All right, there we go. Smaller circle. And then we gotta do his head. And that's the smallest circle of all. I'm going to just twirl my brush around to make his head. Sometimes people feel like painting needs to be serious all the time, but it doesn't. Sometimes art is just for fun projects. You know, so you can make a handmade card or paint something for a friend as a gift. It's a very good use of art. I'm just making sure he's painted in and he's round. I've got that. Now I'm going to get a little more of my ultramarine blue. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to make a little bit of a shadow under him. It's going to get a little bit wider and cast away here off in the distance. See? Because this, the light's coming from in front of him. And that's where it would be. Isn't that nice? Just make sure you like it. There you go. And the trick is to do this is that helps him not float in his world. We don't want him to float. He sits on the snow. That's where he sits. Now the next thing I can do that I can add to him, and I'm going to take a small little brush to do it, I'm going to take a number two bright, is I can add his little hat. I think he definitely has a little hat. Not all snowmen have hats. Some snowmen have caps. Some snowmen have little top hats. And this little guy has definitely a top hat. So I'm going to make that nice, happy little top hat shape. It's a curve line. I curve in a little bit and I go up. A little curve over line. And then curve back in to the brim. I'm just going to paint that in all black. Now, my snowman is looking at the sunrise, but yours could be looking at you. That's a choice if you want that. And you can decide which way he's facing. But my little snowman's looking at the sunrise. Just make sure that's painted in nicely. I'm gonna rinse that out. If this is dry, you can add the next layer of snow to your snowman. I'm going to get some just white and I'm going to come here and I'm going to just give him just a little dust and be coming around both sides with the light is sort of curving around him. Notice that I am being very careful to sort of leave a little bit of a shadow I just want him to feel like he's round. There we go. Just a little dust. He's starting to feel a little bit round, isn't he? You work him out where you're happy with him. He feels fluffy and delightful. See, I'm just curving my little brush strokes.
makes a little shadow there. You can always go back and put them in if you don't have them. Now's a good time to get a small little detail round. And I'm going to take a little of my yellow over to my red because I think my snowman has a little carrot right here. And it's pointing over to the left, peeking out. And that helps everybody know where he's looking, doesn't it? It does. And then I'm going to grab some of my black. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to give him a little snowman arm. I'm on the tip of my brush. This is a branch. So try not to think of people arms, but think of branches. I'm going to make little twiggy fingers. I like his little twiggy fingers. I like his little twiggy fingers. They're sort of reaching up for something. I'll fix that right there. Because the paint underneath is dry, if I just take clean water, sometimes I can do erasing an acrylic. Once the acrylic's dry, it's harder to do. You gotta paint it out. But when the layer underneath is dry, and the one on top is wet, you actually get a lot of do-overs in acrylic painting, which is kind of nice. It's a thing that I like about it. I'm gonna come here and I wanna make sure that I like what I've got. Cause he's my little twiggy guy. Let's give him another little arm maybe. I can put an arm here. I can put one out here. I think maybe Put another little arm here. We're going to give him something to reach for. Something hopeful. Something that he feels in his little soul man soul. There he is. His little arms are reaching out. I'm going to get my number two bright out again. I'm going to take a little white and a small amount of black. And I'm going to come here on the top hat, just make a little reflection, nothing too serious. Now, he might have a breeze, and if he did, one way I could show that would be a red scarf. So I'm going to come with this number two, I'm going to paint a nice little stripe where somebody has made sure that he's going to be cozy out in the snow. He was built by somebody that loves him. And I'm going to blow one little bit of that off behind him. That tells us that it's kind of a windy day, doesn't it? That's fun. That's enjoyable. I like making those little happy lines. Now he has a little bit of a happiness there. Right? How cute is he? I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow and white just by themselves. I'm going to do something kind of fun. Add a little of that reflection just right here. Him a little bit. He's feeling the sun. Even though that's maybe not the best thing for him, he thinks it's wonderful. And he's going to enjoy that moment. You know, you can put him in anything, this snowman, once you know how to do him. He can visit all sorts of paintings in your life. He doesn't just have to live here. I'm taking a little bit of blue and I'm just making sure he's got a shadow between his little snowballs, right? So you can really see his little snowball body. Now one nice thing I can do up in the corner is give him a twinkle star to reach for. I'm going to grab my uh, little detail brush and a little bit of white on the tip. I'm going to come right here. Right, I'm going to make a small little dot. And then I'm going to make a line that goes straight up. And a line that goes straight down. 
one that comes out. I love making twinkle stars. I make them in a lot of my paintings, whether they're serious paintings or happy paintings. I think it's really important to do both kinds of art in your life. I'm bringing out a couple little radiating lights. See? Grab a little bit of yellow on your brush. And come put that right in the center, that just small amount of yellow. And then I'm going to come around my star with little rounded lines. To show that the light is glowing in the sky. He's reaching for something. He's reaching for something. The sun is coming up. He's feeling it. He knows what's afoot. And he's very happy about it. Isn't that delightful and cheerful? It's important every once in a while to take a minute and just be creative in a lighthearted and simple way where you're just enjoying yourself and your imagination. I hope you had a lot of fun painting this. If this was your first painting, I hope you're delighted at your result. If you want to know more about art projects like this or anything else about art, go and check the artsherpa.com for more information. I hope to see you at the easel really soon. Bye-bye.